Welcome, folks, to this episode of The Beer Show. I'm your host, Gerard Bouchard, and today I am drinking a beer from Farnham Hill and Lager, which is a new brewery. They've been open since uh, October 2013. And, of course, they are located in uh, Farnham, in the province of Quebec. And I am drinking their uh, bitter... Uh, British Hale, which is a 5% alcohol by volume beer. Uh, most of their product can be found in 473 milliliter uh, can, which is perfect, uh, I mean, for the environment and less uh, gas, it, it costs less gas to transport the product, and uh, it's a little cheaper to, to produce. Uh, the machine does cost more to do the can, but in the long term, they will uh, save money. And hopefully we can see a lot of different product from this new uh, brewery. So uh, I am drinking, I didn't even say the name of the beer. So I am drinking the 35, which stands for the 35 IBU that this beer uh, has. And pretty much all their product is named uh, after the IBU of the beer. So the 35 from Farnham Hale and Lager, which is a bitter British hell. That being said, as you can see, I've got a wine glass today, and that is perfectly fine. Uh, I'm not doing a sacrilege of drinking a beer. Uh, in a wine glass, what would be a sacrilege would be to drink that beer in a can or in the bottle. So uh, any glass is already better than in the can and in the bottle. But wine glass is perfect for tasting a product like wine. I would say it's the same principle, and um, it's no biggie. Uh, it, it does look a little bit more like. A, Hey, what's up? But that's just a perspective. So let's go and drink this bad boy. So as you can see, I poured it quite hard. And this is what I'm going to do now from, from now on. Uh, because uh, as you can see, most of the time, I already at least tasted it a little bit. So carbonation has been getting uh, down. And uh, I'd say if I pour it just normally, then I would see no head in the beer. By pouring it a little bit harder, then I'm able to, to at least get a little head uh, in that product. So uh, I'll just put this beer right here so you can get a good shot of it. And let's check on this beer. So as you can see, a nice uh, bright orange golden uh, color to it. You've got a a good head, uh, large bubbles, and it's still uh, pop, pop, pop. it's still going on the carbonation in the glass. Uh, I really like that color. To be honest, this is what a beer should look like. By the way, five percent alcohol. No, I already said that. But just to make sure, five percent alcohol by volume. Let's go for that smell. Mm, I get freshness in there. I get caramel, uh, roasted. Um, mm, a roasted smell in there. I don't really get a hoppy smell to it, but it's quite a nice scent, I would be honest with you. I can't wait. I gotta taste it. I'll talk a little bit more about the scent as we go on. Mm. Quite nice. You know what this makes me think of? That London Pride I did a review about, uh, I would say like uh, two, three weeks ago. I'll put the link right here um, of the video. But it does resemble a lot of that beer, which I actually liked a lot. Uh, it was the London Pride by Fuller. It does resemble that. So you have that... that uh, roasted caramel flavor, a little bit uh, bitter, a little bit um, sugary, uh, quite nice, quite nice. 
it's just not as balanced as the other one was. But let's be honest, I'm doing the review on this now, so I'm gonna stop think, talking about the other beer and I'm gonna concentrate on this one because let's be honest, they're two different products. This is brand new on the market and the other one has been there for years and years and years, so it's not fair to compare the, the two products together. Anyway, so uh, the head is already gone, but that's quite normal, it's not that big of a deal. Really nice, really nice taste to that. It's really good. You can get the bitterness. Uh, yeah, it's roasted malt. You can get that caramel flavor out of it. Really nice. The color is exquisite. I just love that. It's a sexy color. I can't, can't say. It's a, it almost looks like a, a, a red hail, but uh, it doesn't taste anything like it, let's be honest. So, uh, quickly, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. So, that's a really good uh, grade for it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've got nothing more to say about that beer. I guess I just want to go sit down and enjoy it uh, all afternoon. Which is nice about those cans because you get a bit more. It wasn't that expensive either. It was 3 bucks for a 473 uh, milliliter bottle. So, uh, so you, you probably get like uh, two, three glasses like this. So it's a, you, can, uh, you can have that beer. You can taste it for three, four hours depending on Hot. What's what, what? What do you want to do today? You want to taste beer or you want to quickly get drunk? I think when I have a beer nowadays, I'm there to taste it, to enjoy it, do a little review whenever I feel like it. And uh, yeah, so uh, like always, please like, comment, and uh, share the videos. You can also subscribe to the channel to get the information first off when I publish the videos on YouTube and uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope uh, that you will come back for other videos of the beer show. Take care guys. Bye.